Hey guys, Killer Man Zach back here with another episode of Slay Away Camp. I know it's been a little while since the last episode, but I'm gonna get right back into things. And we've got a new story to look at My Gory Valentine, a Slay Away Camp Valentine Nightmare. And just before we start, I wanna show you guys something cool. We've got also some new killers the Plague Doctor, we got the Gelatinous Cube, Mutant Candy Cane. We got President Skullface, and these were won because of uh, the Monthly Murderer Club. Uh, I signed up and uh, I got these free killers to uh, play as, which would definitely be interesting. Alright, now let's check out the new story. Roses are red, they're all dead, just how I like it. In a small mining town on the east coast of Canada, hearts will be Oh, did he just harvest his heart from this back? Jeez. Alright, let's go down here and kill this girl. This unspecting. Oh! Broken hearted. Jeez. Jeez, these killers have no mercy, honestly. Alright, I think I'm gonna go after this cop. Give him a little visit. See what he's up to? <laughs> Dying, that's all he's up to. Oh, I think I just fucked myself right here. Because there's no way for me to get to him to get back in the circle. Alright, I think I'm going to try a different path. I'm going to go over here, scare him up there. And then I think I'm going to go over here and murder her once again. And that should work out. And then I can go over here get you scare you across and then we can go back here and that's what that was supposed to be for because I was wondering why would they have this all back here if we're not even gonna use it and the fact that we uh, scared the guy this way using this piece right here since he could see me I had a feeling that we had to use this to uh, scare him this way and then all we have to do is just go back this way and simple enough, we're done. And then we can move on to the next stage. Ooh. Amazing. Oh, dang, right in the eye. Jeez. Scene 2 of 13, Dig Dug Damager. Okay, so let's see here. What happens if I kill you? Um, okay. oh, we're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. There's literally nothing we can do if we do that. Alright, I think I have a bit of a theory. I think I'm supposed to save those guys on the left for last. Then I'm gonna go try the pink girl, see what she has to do. I'm go over here, I'm gonna shove her down. Um... Sounds a bit tricky. I think we're supposed to go over here. Force her over there. Go down. Push her up. And actually, I think that's probably right. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll push you in the hole. Simple enough. And then there were two. And then there were one. <laughs> Alright, and now we just need... Oh, jeez. Oops. Oops. Scene 2 of 13, Dig Dug Damager. Okay, this looks like an interesting one. Hmm. Me. It does nothing. Ooh. Push you down, I guess. Force you down there. Um. What happens if I, uh, no! murder you? Ooh, dive and kill. Push you in the hole? Oh, I am trapped. I see that. Let's rewind. And now let's go up here. Alright, so let's go over here. We'll force you to the left. And we'll go down here. We'll move you up. And... Let's do that. I think that should be good. And then we'll force you into the hole. And then because I'm murdering this guy... His buddy will go into the hole. Now I don't even have to do anything. 
Easy enough. And boom, we're done. Ooh, okay, so we're dropping TNT. Ooh, dang. Just how I like it, well cooked. Scene three of 13, a hard day's work. Well, they're gonna have a hard day after I'm done with them. All right, so let's go over here. Hmm. You know what, I'm actually seeing this little gap right here, so I have a feeling that we're supposed to get somebody in that little space right there. Because there's no way that we can get to uh, the guy right there, the last guy. So I'm going to rework this. Alright, so I've done a little bit of thinking, and I think I'm going to go over here, and we'll push you down there. And then we'll move you all the way over to the left in the corner, which should work out nicely. And you'll allow us to uh, take this path, scare him into the corner, which will now allow us to go through this little hole. And then there we go. Now he's in play. Now he's ready to die. All right, and then let's just go over here, and then he's going to be dead. No! <laughs> I bathe in the blood of my enemies. You know what they say, Sharon is Karen in this case. There's a lot of sharing of blood. Alright. Level complete. Boom! Oh, dang! Once again, still in people's hearts. Well, this is Valentine's, so, uh, makes sense. Scene 4 of 13. Cave corner. Oh, jeez, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of working out. I think I might actually just go after the top girl first. One down, two down, three down. Oh, oh, we ran out of turns. All right, so I did a few test runs, and I think I got this down. So we just gotta go over here, murder you, kill you, slide over here, slide to the right, and we're done. Dang! Use the shovel! Scene 5 of 13. Cardiac comminution. What the hell? Never heard of that word. Okay, so there's... There's a mine right there. I see that. And then we're just gonna go up here, I think. And that would probably be the smartest strategy, is to get rid of the mine first with that guy. Because there's no other way I can do that with any of the other characters. We'll get rid of you. And... There we go. Nice. And then, simple enough, we're done. Headshot. Scene 6 of 13. New something pickup. I don't even know what that is. If you guys want to know, see what the title is and read it yourself, uh, feel free to pause the video or go back and pause the video at that moment. Read it, but uh, that was a big word. Um, oh, oh no, kitty. Oh, I don't want to scare the kitty. Oh, I see what they're doing. So if I go right here, it's going to scare the kitty into the mine. And I don't want to pour a dead kitty. So the only way to go is here, and the only other way to go is here, and then go down, I think, yep, we gotta scare him over, and then we go back, we run past Kitty, oh, oh no, don't scare the Kitty, well at least the Kitty's not dead, I'd rather a scared Kitty than a dead Kitty, well, bye bye mine, <laughs> bye bye human. And then now we can just get rid of you. Oh, dang, sliced off your head. Jeez. All right, now we can scare Kitty into the corner. And then we're done. Good job. Amazing. Jeez, yeah, this is brutal. He has no chill. Scene seven of 13, Dirty Destructor. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting level. Are you high as fuck? Both of you in the back? You Both of you are baked. Damn. Okay, so I have a th an idea. I think we're supposed to get this girl right here, but I'm not sure fully how. Which we have to get right here. Somehow get someone over here or something. I, I'm not fully sure, but this is going to be very tricky in uh, how we can do this. Go right there. Scare you over. Um. Whoa. Oh, demonic circle's back. Jeez, derpy ass demon. Oh, dang, molested your face. Oh, dang. Jeez. For real, she got demonized. Oh, dang, headbutt. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to get through this, this little part here. This is going to be a lot more tricky than I would hope for. Oh, dang. I just realized how I'm supposed to beat this. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is go over here. Go right and hit that, uh... I'm assuming that's a black powder barrel. And then we hit right next to her. And then we go. We murder her. And then we can move over to the side of the girl. And the thing that this is going to do is this is going to allow us to move her all the way over there where I was saying that she needs to be and that's the only logical place unless we could possibly get her there which that is like impossible so now we can just murder him and then we can murder her little girl you want to know why I kill? I kill because I must show them the love they showed me Doom. dang I don't know why I, I'm not a bad person but I the explosions are just kind of satisfying the explosions. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, scene 8 of 13. Coal mine confusion. Oh, this is tight quarters. This is a special axe. The holy axe. The holy pickaxe, actually. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to push this guy over here and some guy somehow get right next to him to push him into the mine. Um... Yep, there we go. Now we can get through this area. I gotta just, just do that. Call you. And there we go. Dang, I'm getting through these really fast. Oh! Oh, oh. We got a witness. I can't believe I just missed that. Are you fucking kidding me? I actually missed that. Scene 9 of 13, Pit Kitties. Why are you putting kitties in this so much? I don't want to have a chance at killing the kitties. Even if I can restart the level, I don't want to see the kitties die. That's one thing I don't want to see. Okay, kitty is safe. Okay, you should be going... Yeah, I think you should be going right there. Force you over. Push kitty into that hole. Um... Gosh, jeez, I'm forcing the cat around. Oh, no. I don't know how to complete this. I'm so close, honestly. And I don't want to kill one of the kitties. No, kitty. Alright, so I think I found a method that won't harm the kitties, thankfully. So we gotta go over here, we gotta scare the shit out of this little miner over here. And then we gotta move him into place, and that's where he's gonna die. Then we gotta move the kitty over there. Scare the kitty. And then we gotta move the kitty into place right there. 
And then all we have to do is just go over here, move him, and we're done. Victory. Oh, oh the shovel again. Oh. Scene 10 of 13, triple tunnel telephony. Oh jeez, yeah, this is gonna be a mind fuck. Why does this game have to use the kitties so much? I don't want to murder them, even by accident. Okay, so the only logical place to go is right there. And then we gotta go head down here. Head over here, call the phone. Whoa, no! Oh my gosh. And now we have to go murder you. Call the phone. Oh no! Alright, so I think I was going the wrong way. I actually have to murder this girl first, which scares the kitty over. And now we can go through this way because it unblocked the path that we needed to go through. And then what we can do, scare the kitty that way, so then we can use the telephone on the guy. Yep, and just casually kill the girl. And then what we can do... Um, not fully sure. Oh! There we go! And we didn't even have to take out the mines, and we saved the two cats. Killing spree. Jeez, you could just hear the blood splatter. Scene 11 of 13, Detonation Dilemma. Oh, damn! Who's going crazy with the TNT? Hey, is, uh, is Simon over here? <laughs> From the Yolks cast. Because I know he loves blowing shit up. <laughs> Alright, so what do we need to do now? What is required of us? Do we need to just scare you over? Is that what we need to do? Let's try that out. Not really sure. Okay, so that's going to be definitely a part of that. Oh! Jeez! Secret murder! You're just hiding behind the little TNT there. Okay, so that's not going to work, honestly. I think I need to get someone right here, and I need to figure out the path for this. I think it might actually be the way that I pushed it, but these items, um, they only have one or two ways. But you gotta figure out which way you gotta push it, so then it'll open up new paths for you. And this might actually be the right path. Oh wow, I can't believe I actually missed that. Okay, so that's where we were before. Now we just need to find a way to scare him down. Hmm, I think I may have an idea. We just gotta go over here, move that, go up. There we go, now we scared him down. We just gotta go back over here. I think. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we can murder her. And then we can murder her. Dang. Yeah, these are getting really tricky. Okay, another TNT. Boom! Ah, oh, jeez, that is like very brutal. Scene 12 of 13, slick and slide, or slick and side security. What the hell is this? Jeez, this is like the airport. You know, I have a theory. I have a feeling that someone has to be right here, so then we can go this way, or go this way, and then go straight in there. But the problem is, is uh, this guy is blocking the path this way, so we can't do that. And if we hit this guy from this side, uh, they're going to go right here, and then that's not going to work out. So I have a feeling maybe we have to push in one of the one of these guys, maybe this girl right here, and push them down in this way, so that they would stop right here as soon as they move here. So I think that's what's got to happen. So let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, 
Okay, so now we actually have to clear the cops in the back. There we go. Now we have to clear these cops. Move you into place. Okay, so this is going to be a lot more tricky than I actually thought. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Jason Voorhees do you. Okay, so we still have to get that one guy over here where I'm at, but we have to do it a little bit differently. We have to kill this guy as usual, then we have to go down here, kill the cops, all of them, and kill this miner first, and then we have to go up here and kill the cops in this specific order, in this specific way. We kill the girl but from this side instead of the other side, and then now, because we did that, we're right next to the miner. He gets scared down. We kill him. Then we kill the cop. And then that cop just magically dies for some reason because we went through the portal. Oh, jeez. Final scene. Core sample climax. You know what? Before I start the, the level, I think I'm going to switch to someone a little bit more new. So the Plague Doctor, after emerging from the darkest of dungeons, she possessed a hatred for anything happy. Okay, so we're gonna actually play as this killer. And we'll get right back into the story. Okay, so now we're gonna play as the Plague Doctor so that we can play as him for a little bit. And let's see if we can beat this final level, hopefully quickly. And Jesus this looks so demonic. Look at all the hearts. And there's three hearts that are just constantly beating. Oh, jeez. And if this was realistic, like a really realistic game, and it had realistic graphics, oh my gosh, I don't know if I could fully play this. I mean, I probably could, but it would be very gruesome. Okay, so let's just get onto the level now. Hmm. This is going to be kind of tricky. Let's go over here. Oh, you're blocked. Wait, but where's... Stop I don't right understand there. where's the portal. Right, you Stop know, right there. Wow, I didn't even realize there was an opening right there. Okay, so let's go over here. Scare you this way. And then let's go greet the cop, as usual. Boom! There we go, nice. You're done for. We'll move you. Oh, you can't move. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not sure how to get to this girl right here. I have a feeling we either need to bring somebody right here or put somebody right here, but I'm not fully sure. that before death yes be afraid of your demise that is imminent wait what oh no oh that is fucked up total eclipse of the hearts what the f what the fuck he buried her with hearts oh my gosh I've never seen something like that happen well that's one way to end that <laughs> alright and that was my gory valentine I have to say that that was interesting and that ending though she was buried alive with hearts well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed the game. It's definitely an interesting one, and it just keeps getting more and more interesting as we play more of the movies. And I guess we'll get into uh, Slash em High, Slay Away Camp 4, in the next episode. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. See how much you thought of the video, and leave any suggestions down in the comments below. Like any game suggestions if you have any, and I'll see when I can get to them. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.